Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 11 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2, triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4, examples 1 to 14 and questions 1 to 10 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 11 from exercise point 5, chapter 2 triangle says, An aeroplane leaves an airport and flies due north at a speed of 1000 km per hour. At the same time, another aeroplane leaves the same airport and flies due west at a speed of 1200 km per hour. How far apart will be the two planes after one and a half hours? So first of all, let us understand the question here. In the question, they have given us the speed of the aeroplane and the distance covered and time taken. By now you must have understood that this question is related to distance, speed and time. So therefore, first of all, you should know the formula for distance, speed and time. So let us write down the formula where speed is equal to distance by time taken. And also you should know the directions that is north, south, west and east. So these are the two things you should know before we solve this question. So now let us understand the question here. An aeroplane leaves an airport and flies due north at a speed of 1000 km per hour. So we have an aeroplane which leaves the airport and it flies north direction at a speed of 1000 km per hour. So let us draw the figure at a speed of 1000 km per hour. So here the speed is given which is 1000 km per per hour. Now at the same time another aeroplane leaves the same airport and flies due west at a speed of 1200 km per hour. West is which direction? This direction. So let us draw another line which depicts where the aeroplane moves to the west direction at a speed of 1200 km per hour. So now we have to find out how far apart will be the two planes after one and a half hours. So these two aeroplanes are moving in the respective speed in north direction and in west direction. So we have to calculate their distance after one and a half hours. So what will be that? Converting into a mixed fraction 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So that will be 3 by 2 hours. So similarly this aeroplane which is moving west Again, the time given is one and a half hours. So that will be three by two hours again. So we should calculate how far these two aeroplanes will be after a time of one and a half hours. So here we should calculate the distance between these two aeroplanes. This is the shortest distance that will be between the two aeroplanes. So we have to calculate the value of this distance. So here we have the speed and time. So let us calculate the distance traveled by this aeroplane after 3 by 2 hours at a speed of 1000 km per hour. Similarly, we have to calculate the distance traveled by this aeroplane at a speed of 1200 km per hour and after a time of 3 by 2 hours. So now let us write down in triangle AOB, let us calculate the distance OA. So distance OA is equal to speed into time. So here we wrote speed is equal to distance by time. So distance will be speed into time. So the speed here is 1000 kilometers into time is 3 by 2 hours. So 2 1 times 2 5 are 10 0 0. So this will be 5 into 3 it is 15 0 0 that is 1500 kilometers. Similarly let us calculate the distance for OB. So distance of OB is again speed into time. So what is the speed here? It is 1200 kilometers into 3 by 2. So 2 1 times 2 6 are 12 0 0. So 6 into 3 it is 18 0 0 that is 1800 kilometers. So we found out the distance here that is 1800 kilometers and distance here is 1500 kilometers. So we have to find out the distance of AB. Since the north and west are in 90 degree so therefore AOB is a right angle triangle and hence we can apply the Pythagoras theorem in triangle AOB and hence we can calculate a distance from A to B. So write down now 
in triangle AOB by Pythagoras theorem we can write the hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides side opposite the 90 degree angle is AB so this forms the hypotenuse so hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides that is BO square plus AO square OB square plus OA square AB square we have to find out that will be equal to what is OB value here? It is 1800 kilometers. So it is 1800 square plus OA value is 1500 the whole square. So let us simplify these values and find out the value of AB. So here 1800 can be written as 18 into 100 the whole square plus similarly 1500 can be written as 15 into 100 the whole square we are writing this in this manner so that it is simple for us to simplify so this can be 18 square into 100 square plus if you open the bracket it will be 15 square into 100 square right so what is 18 square so let us calculate 18 into 18 so that is 8 eights are 64 8 ones are 8 plus 6 it is 14 into 1 8 are 8 1 ones are 1 so 4 8 plus 4 is 12 carry 1 it is 324 okay so this will be 324 into 100 into 100 is 10,000 right plus similarly what is 15 square so 15 into 15 will be 5 5 are 25 5 ones are 5 plus 2 it is 7 into 1 5 are 5 1 ones are 1 5 5 plus 7 it is 12 carry 1 it is 225 so 225 into 100 square is again 10,000 that is 4 zeros will come so we have here AB square so this will be 3 to 4 into 10,000 will be we have to add the number of zeros that is 4 zeros we will add plus 225 into 10,000 will be 225 and add four zeros to it so adding these two values we will get what is 324 plus 225 so 5 plus 4 is 9 2 plus 2 is 4 and 3 plus 2 it is 5 so we get 549 and zeros will get added since we have four zeros here you will get four zeros here so this is the value of a b square now let us take square root on both the sides so taking square root here square and square root term will get cancelled now let us take the square root of this value so let us split this value again 549 into since there are four zeros we can write as 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 now factorizing 549 since 9 is the last digit divide by number 3 3 ones are 3 2 is left 3 8 are 64 and 3 3 is 9 again we'll take the number 3 3 6 are 18 3 ones are 3 here 61 is a prime number so it is divisible by itself so 61 one times so here 549 can be written as 3 into 3 into 61 and four. since we have four zeros we will write 10 into 10 into 10 10 into 10 so here the pairing of numbers is done and these numbers will come out of the square root so since pairing of number 3 is done it will come out then pairing of number 10 is done twice into 10 and square root of 61 so this will be 3 into 10 into 10 will be AB is equal to 300 square root of 61 since AB is the distance we are finding out so that will be 300 root 61 kilometers so this will be the distance at which these two aeroplanes will be apart so you can write therefore therefore you can write the two aeroplanes will be 300 root 61 kilometers apart after one and a half hours so write down therefore two aeroplanes will be 300 root 61 kilometer apart after one and a half hours if you understand the question step by step I'm sure you will be able to solve this problem so if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video I'll be solving question number 12 from exercise 2.5 chapter 2 triangles so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSERT math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen Thank you.